Uh, how useful was it to you to have those laid back seats on the flight back and, and to Japan? Uh, oh yeah, no, it's it was great. The, the, you mean the seats? The, the, we can, we can, I mean, I'm too, uh, still way too tall for those seats. Yeah, so I was still kind of like, like this, but I was able to get some sleep, yeah, so no complaints. I'm, the, I'm a little short guy and I had problems, you know? Yeah, no, it's, so, it was fine. I mean, we were good, yeah. What's, um, how do, you, how do you see this next game for Johnny Davis? It sounds like he's going to play and you know, Brad's out. It seems like a, maybe a pretty good opportunity for him before the season starts. Yeah, I think so. He, he needs to take that opportunity. And I know after uh, last game in Japan, you know, we kind of it left a bad taste in our mouth, you know, the way the fourth quarter ended. Uh, we're playing good, pretty good for three quarters. And I know that, that ha at least that has to burn the, the young guys that they were playing in that moment. That, that has to give them some fire in, in the belly. And, uh, and hopefully it does that for, for Johnny and he bounces back and plays well, plays aggressively this game. And that's what we're, uh, that's what we're hoping that, you know, he goes out there and does. How was the scrimmage on Friday? Friday, what's today? So it was yesterday? No, on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. Uh, three quarters, play hard, Brad. Looked incredible. Brad was playing out of his mind, uh, as, as you know he always does. I just finally see him also like like locked in, and we were going at it, and, and it was competitive. Um, yeah, it was it was a good good one. A um, couple couple of situations that uh, got my got my belly burning also. So I could tell that everybody was into it, and. and um, and he got the juices going for us, you know, come for f and, and pre to prepare for us for these uh, games coming up. What was it that caught your eye when playing with Brad? Was a particular move, crossover? Oh, no. Yeah, or... no, he was just getting to the rim, uh, making the right plays. It feels like he hasn't uh, been out. You know, sometimes you need a little bit of time to get back your rhythm. He 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 really played like like the the right basketball, right type of basketball. You know, moving the ball when you need to move the ball, being aggressive, being Bradley Beal, and, and he was yeah he was doing his thing out there. Hey KP, uh, coach said it's been competitive. Just from your opinion, how has training camp been when it comes to competitiveness? Definitely competitive. Uh, definitely uh, pushing each other. Uh, competitive in the sense of you know everybody's trying to prove that they deserve the minutes, and that's that's a but in a healthy way, mm -hmm. you know. And that's that's the type of environment we gotta have, you know, where um, you cannot. You cannot relax. You cannot let up because there's another guy that's you know, on your on your heels. You know that wants to take your minutes. And uh, and yeah, uh, hats off to to the coaching staff. I think they've been giving us the uh, the right amount of, of you know that competitive time where we can go at each other and play. And we had those pickup games. And and, and I'm looking forward to starting the season. And, and once the season starts, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be nonstop game after game. So. Honestly, I can't wait. And then just in your two games in Japan, what was one of the positives that you took away from that experience? Yeah, I think that the uh, second game, uh, I felt like first game, uh, from my perspective, we were a little bit, pa including myself especially, I was a bit too passive. Second game, you know, of course, it's still preseason, mm -hmm. pre but I didn't like it. And um, then second game, I felt like we came out more more aggressive, um, played really well for, for a good amount of the game. But again, it's preseason, win or lose, you know, no need to overreact. Mm -hmm. And um, but yeah, we could we could definitely take some things away that we saw. Okay, we're doing this well, but we can get better at this. And uh, so it's good that we have a couple more games. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is that we won't have a home game, you know, like mm -hmm. a real home game. But uh, but you know, we'll have enough home games during regular season, so we, we'll, we'll be fine. Because uh, you haven't played a regular season game with Brad, how? important will the preseason finale be for you and he to get some more minutes under a, a game situation yeah yeah i don't know it's, it's gonna be game by game we're gonna we're gonna need we're gonna need some time playing together but for example the way we looked on friday it looks like it's just happening natural to us you know we are we're we're finding each other we're keeping each other in mind and and brad is a, is uh high 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 level basketball player you know so uh it's it's easy to play with a guy like him and uh he's gonna find me i'm gonna try to make his life easier and, and uh yeah we gotta find that that that
chemistry and, and keep building that to, to, to new levels. As the last line of defense in the lane, what can guards and the guys who are defending in front of you do to make your life easier? Um, not foul. I like when, uh, for example, if, you know, I try to communicate that also as, as I'm the, as you said, the last line on defense. I'm always yelling, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Mm -hmm. To let the guy know that, you know, if he does go by, you don't swipe or don't do anything. I'm going to be here, you know, and, and, and having your back. Um, so, yeah, I, I look forward to having as many opportunities to protect the rim as, as I can, you know, without, without guards maybe trying to, you know, last second kind of get the steal or something. But, I mean, everybody here is, here is pretty experienced. And, and, yeah, and we'll try to do the best job we can defensively. And, and, and same, same with me. I'll try to um, be, be better defensively than I was last year. What have you seen from Rui, you know, coming back from the summer? Yeah. No, Ruby's been taking his game to a new level. Definitely, he has. Uh, um, he he has also like opened up. He's he's kind of he got his swagger going now. You know, he's feeling good and uh, he's he's really playing well. Mm, he's uh, he's really like I would say like uh, like really finding who he is on the court. You know, like he knows he's uh, he's getting to his spots where he wants to be, shooting those shots. He has a uh, like a consistent shot, and, uh, and yeah, I think he, he he needs to keep keep getting better, keep working on his game, keep watching film, making the reads, um, and yeah, Rui Rui has has high potential.